This is Running With Andy and welcome to week eight of training for the Brighton Marathon. Let's do it. Decent pace would be nice. At the end of the day, doesn't really matter. But I still want to beat my PB. <laughs> Can't be that hard, can it, a marathon? Nah. Yeah, I've just, I've just got here. Can, can you just ask, can you just ask Emily, do I literally, do I run through the alpaca farm? Through the alpacas? So one of Laura's good friends has recommended me a trail run to do today. And the first, absolute first thing to do is to run through that alpaca field. I mean, it's a footpath that goes through there. I'm just questioning, I hope they don't spit at me or they could just take a hatred to me and all spit at me. Right, I'm just going to Google, are alpacas violent? <laughs> Hello. Oh. I come in peace. Oh. So this is my first outing in the Innovate Mudclaw 300. So far, so good. I can feel a little bit of discomfort on my heel. That might blister later. Maybe it's just a wearing the in kind of scenario. But let me know. What are your favorite trail shoes? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and see if other people in the comments agree with you. But these innovate so, so far, apart from the one little heel problem, have been really good. Brilliant, just followed a sheep track rather than the actual footpath <laughs> straight into a brook. So let's retrace my steps and let's go the right way this time, shall we? So this morning I've woken up to loads of new subscribers and comments, which is amazing, great feeling and over the weekend, I had a shout out from Donato, the running guru. Uh, he gave me a short little prime time spot on his vlog at Parkrun. And this morning, I woke up to loads of cryptic comments with the words here and running and we and are in capital letters. And it turns out that all these commenters had, be sent, had been sent by Chris from here we are running is also training for the Brighton Marathon who's given me a lovely shout out on his channel so huge thanks to you guys and welcome aboard and hopefully you can stay with me for the duration of training for this marathon my first first ever marathon can't be that hard can it a marathon nah I'm learning from previous mistakes. Spare pair of socks after a muddy, wet run is just heavenly. Heavenly, I tell you. Welcome to Thursday. So I'm running under cold grey skies again here in Worcestershire. I actually thought the sun would be out this morning. I thought it'd be quite a nice sunrise, but it's been a little bit grey. And I'm running nice and easy today. I'm uh, my easy pace over time, actually, over this marathon block, training block, has actually got a lot slower. And that's actually something I'm really pl proud of, weirdly because I think it's allowing me to run more and run longer, which is very important for me on marathon day. And because I'm running fairly slow, I always feel quite philosophical on these runs. So I've got a question for you. So that has actually led me onto thinking, what well, did I need to do 16 weeks of training? And the way I arrive at my decision is, 
if the marathon was today or last long run day which was Sunday would I have been ready the answer is maybe but probably not if it was four weeks ago and I'd done four weeks training no chance I probably would have been a din a din did not finish if it was last Sunday I could see myself making it to 16 18 mile on adrenaline typical marathon story and having to walk and hobble the rest so this is what I wanted to ask you guys let me know your stories from your first ever marathon I'd love to hear about them so I'd love to hear your expectation versus the reality of your first marathon if you can cast your mind back what how did you think it would go how did it actually go at this stage I'm just trying to be a sponge and soak up as much advice and training as I can so Brighton will go as well as possible four hours 30 is the goal for me I don't want to say anything that I'll regret by saying three hours 30 or anything like that so four hours 30 even that for me will be a challenge anyway let's get the rest of this Thursday nice and easy nice and easy run finished and then we can look forward to Parker on Saturday there's the Strava selfie because if it ain't on Strava it didn't really happen seven slow but very useful kilometers in the bag see you Saturday can you smell those sweet aromas it's the unmistakable smell of a park run sandwich so thoughts for how today will go I don't know the competitor in me every Saturday morning wants to beat my PB and last week's uh, time I say this every week but I might just take it easy but in about 20 minutes time I'll be channeling Michael Johnson Atlanta 96 vibes and I'll be running like a madman so we'll see but remember park run is a run not a race it needs to be enjoyed at the end of the day it doesn't really matter But I still want to beat my PB. <laughs> Warm up done, and it's a windy one this morning. We're doing the horseshoe route because it looks like there's something going on on the race course, which means a couple of hairpin turns, which could be yeah, interesting. Yes, a little bit blowy this morning. A little bit blowy. <laughs> running with a parachute on It says 2442. Sub 25, I'll take that. That wind is brutal. Right, let's get over to the finish line and see if we can see a few mates. Cheer them over the line. Well done, lads. Well done. Go on, then, Jay. Good lad. Have a good one. Right, let's start the run home. And a quick debrief about this run. Man, this wind is brutal. This is really horrible. So instead of Michael Johnson vibes, 
more Michael Jackson vibes in an Earth song. There were parts of this run today that were very, very tricky. So to get the 2432, I'm very, very pleased with. My fastest time by 45 seconds, or is it 2442? Fastest time by 30 seconds on this horseshoe course. So once again, I think we're showing signs of progress. So on today's park run, I thought I'd start out at a five minute K pace, just to test the water, no quicker, no slower. And I felt okay. And uh, got through uh, two or three Ks, you know, okay. And then the fourth K against the wind was really quite tough. And fortunately, the, the last K running towards the finish line, I just smashed it. I just hit it really hard and finished strong and felt good. So that five kilometer pace, don't forget for me, is tempo pace. And uh, yeah, it just felt quite nice to have. I think that was my first run of the week at tempo pace. So all, that's, uh, all I've got left to do now is tomorrow's long run. <laughs> all I've got left to do. So that's 60% of this week's volume. And then that's week eight of the marathon training block complete. I'm talking like today's the last day of the week. It's not. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be a grueler. So see you tomorrow. So how are you feeling about running home? I could have picked a better day, if I'm being honest. Weather's looking good. Weather is looking fabulous, but I've got to get these long runs in because otherwise I'll, I'll fall behind and my mileage will drop. So it could be like this on the big day. So I need to feel what it feels like to do a long run in horrendous weather. So jelly babies packed, water stocked, gels in the bag. Let's go and get soaked. See you in a bit. So today, just been at a kids party in Evesham and I'm going to run home. Need to get my long run miles in, need to get my long run Sunday in. By the way, it's worth mentioning, I've never run 30k before. I've never run more than 28. So as always, the distance is the, t is the, is the goal today, not the time. I'm trying to cling on to a six minute pace. Decent pace would be nice. But I'm a realist. I know I'm gonna drop off towards the end. So for me, it's the distance traveled that I'm uh, interested in today. This is fun though, this is... I've got to remember the reason why I'm doing this. It's because it just releases all these endorphins and makes me feel alive. Love it. Love it. <laughs> So anybody that lives in Worcester will recognise this iconic fortress of the horizon that signifies that you're nearly home. The One Tree Hill of Whittington. So we're back in Worcester now, 21k down. So I've got to try and, I've got to try and find nine kilometres out of my run home to try and get to 30. 
but feeling feeling okay feeling as good as I possibly could do having just run a half marathon <laughs> Twenty-five and a half k later, we're back in the homeland. Thirty k, my longest ever, ever run. Thirty thousand meters. Just going to take that in a minute. Thirty thousand meters. So all I need to do now is find another 12,200. I wasn't a lightning fast or anything, but I did it. I did the distance. And for me, it's distance over speed because the main objective is, is to finish this marathon by any means possible. And uh, it's a huge confidence booster to run three quarters of the distance, huge confidence booster. So apart from a marathon, my first marathon being a massive bucket list item, there are two main things that I carry with me on my running journey, and I, I mean metaphorically. Um, the first of which is letting go of your limits. If you're like me, your whole life, you've probably thought, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, and just thought, well, it's easy to just not do it. And that's what I want this channel to be about challenging yourself getting out there and just surprising surprising yourself about how well you can do when you push yourself and the second thing is just being an ordinary guy an ordinary person and trying to do something extraordinary so those two things are the things that I carry with me every time I do a run let go of your limits and being ex an ordinary person trying to do something extraordinary so thanks for watching this this episode guys if you want to keep up to date with all my running you know as it happens then please follow me on instagram and strava links in the description let me know in the comments how your train has gone this week if you've been hitting the streets and hopefully you've had a good week of training too and let me know if anyone got out and trained on this murky horrible rainy disgusting Sunday and how you got on because it was a real tough one today and yeah so I'm looking forward to next week next week is recovery week so the mileage is going to come right down and I'm looking forward to that and to celebrate recovery week we're going to do every single run on the trails so I will see you in the mud next week but as for now, I will see you then. Take it easy, you guys, and see you soon. Ta-da!